All right, I got the ThinkPad T14 Gen 3, Gen 2, P50. The objective for me was to replace my P50, a very heavy machine, with something lightweight, which was the T14 uh, Gen 3 in this case. This is my work issue machine, and because I had them side by side, I thought I'd give a quick discussion of, for anybody that's in the market on differences between these two. This is an AMD Ryzen fully spec'd out. These are the things that I ended up selecting, Ryzen fully spec'd out. Windows 10, don't get 11 because it's written with telemetry and it's a horrible piece of garbage. Um, get the Pro, if you're getting it, this has soldered RAM, so make sure you get it maxed out. In my opinion, it's worth the money, DDR5, so it's uh, better performance than others. I, this has a terabyte of um, SSD storage, and I ended up getting the 1080 matte display. I did not get the uh, 4K display because it's just going to destroy your battery life. You should be aware. I didn't get a touch screen because of that. You see that glare? Horrible glare. I'd never want that ever again. All my machines are now matte. It's been that way for years. Uh, that's something I bought a very long time ago and I learned my lesson from that. Um, only get matte displays. Uh, and also if and when you customize this or buy a pre-built, make sure you get the one with the higher battery, which is the 52 um cell battery as opposed to the smaller 39 cell battery in terms of actual battery life usage i've had this for a couple of days light usage i get maybe six six and a half hours so far uh, and i'll test it a little bit more to see where that where it stands this machine is you know both of these are usually plugged in especially my work machine uh, i i don't actually remember or have looked at it i, I recommend this program called battery bar pro it's a fantastic little application worth the money uh, to see in terms of long-term battery life. And it's giving me an estimate of, you know, eight hours, which, you know, I sometimes question numbers, but it's supposed to be accurate in terms of real life observation. My, you know, theories, I think it's about six, six and a half hours of, uh, of usage. Now let's talk about differences between these two machines. So uh, when I got this machine, I didn't realize the keyboard, something felt off about the keyboard and typing on it. It just didn't feel bouncy. It didn't feel right. And, and when I looked it up, uh, it turns out this only has 1.5 millimeters of key travel. I didn't realize that getting this. And unfortunately, researching it a little bit further, all the new ThinkPads, this is a horrible trend, all the new ThinkPads have now 1.5 millimeters. That's the new gold standard for Lenovo, it seems. They are set on destroying a very important thing that as enthusiasts, uh, we care about, I certainly care about, I have 1.9 millimeters of key travel. That's my, that was, that's been my daily driver for a very long time. I've had other ThinkPads in between. Um, this is 1.8 millimeters of key travel, by the way, 1.5. Okay. We're getting worse. <laughs> this is the new trend. This is the horrible trend. This is the new standard for Lenovo. What's better? You, we, we get an integrated fingerprint reader here, as opposed to, I think this is the fingerprint reader. I, it, it's not enabled on this machine, but my assumption is it has to be the fingerprint reader. Very pronounced. And that was, that was the case even here. We have a little fingerprint reader there. Uh, and so they're moving it to be integrated. But, you know, there's been instances where, like, I turn it on, it, it, it doesn't really re respond well and so on and so forth. It, it is what it is. It might be just initial hiccups. Um, with the product, who knows? Other things... The bigger complaint, this is, if you've seen my other content, my biggest complaint, this is just like the X1 Carbon for my prior review, comparing it to the P14 Gen 2. This is a horrible new standard and trend. This is where and how it should be. This is how it was. And you see how clean that is in terms of, you know, it's super distinctive. You can look at it and be like, yes, there are three buttons that I will be able to click. The middle one has like a ramp. The ones on the left and the right, they have these little ridges that so my finger's gonna get stuck on. This doesn't have any of that. Your finger just smooths, slides over like you're just on nothing. You just go right over this. You don't even know you're passing over something. It, it, it's too seamless and integrated, which is horrible if you're an actual user. And, and Gen 2, by the way, has a better experience than that comparatively. By the way, that's, what, that's, what, that's why I wanted to highlight this. Um, you have this little ridge that will allow you to know that where your finger is without ever having to look down. I found myself having to look down a few times uh, while using this. Further, your finger gets stuck in this little hole, you can see. You can see that, it gets stuck in there because it's you create this hole and you go in here. Here, because it's elevated, that never happens. Your, your thumb pushes down, you have, you're on like an elevated step above the keys, and that never happens. So 
minor inconvenience, yes. Can you get used to it? Yes, I, I kind of have. But every time I use it, I'm like, why is Lenovo doing this? Why are they destroying things that have worked for years, for decades, right? This is quality keyboard and mouse is what really makes Lenovo ThinkPad stand out. They're doing integrated components, soldered components. You can't really upgrade it as users. And so they're going away from all the things they previously stood for. And I think that's very unfortunate. Now, how did I end up on the ThinkPad T14 Gen 3 compared to the other models, say the X13 or the P14 or 13 or whatever? This has better cooling vents. Yes, I think the X13 has USB 4.0 and I was looking at it, especially since it had a little slightly better display resolution, uh, nits, it had 400 nits, this is 300 nits. Uh, to me, cooling was way more important because the ones, the other machines have like a single little slot at the bottom uh, on the left side, I think, or the right, I don't remember which side, but, and, and that's the entire cooling for that machine, right? And, and I don't like that Lenovo is going the way of MacBook. MacBook Air, by the way, has no vents, it has no fan, which is shocking to me, but Apple can get away with anything. We should want air circulating inside components that get hot, right? A, a high performance uh, compute inside these machines. If you actually do work with ThinkPads, that's the objective. You're getting this machine not just to be flashy and, and show off your, your sh uh, you know, design of this machine. It's meant to be productive. It's meant to have utility. And so if you do that, you might generate heat as a, as a byproduct of your productivity and your machine working hard, you generate heat and you wanna make sure there's cooling. And so additional vents for this, for me, was important for longevity. I've had this thing for, I guess, almost a decade at this point, and I want this to go for a very long time. So that's why I got it everything specced out and I hope it can last a very long time. Uh, I will continue testing and seeing how this feels over the next, you know, a week or two because I have some time before I can potentially return this if I need to. Um, the keyboard and is something I've gotten used to. The mouse is, is kind of a complaint. Uh, there's been a little bit of bugs in terms of sometimes it shuts down and lose data, but that's kind of Windows problems, I think. So I'll, I'll see how it goes. Um, there's, you know, squared keyboard keys and other things. And I think those are just like details that people pick on when they have nothing else to to talk about in terms of differences 16 by 10 aspect ratio by the way if you're in excel or other things you'll notice a bigger screen a smaller bezel here at the bottom this is a kind of a fat bezel i, I don't know if you could see it with my uh, horrible lighting um conditions in here but that's the gist of it and, and again my objective was to get like a little small display that i can take with me and have my multi-screen setup for work uh, and I'm working on getting another one so I can have my three three screens everywhere I go. Weight wise, you know, this is like three pounds or so. That's like eight or nine with my brick. Uh, this is USB C. This is USB C. So it's super lightweight, 65 um, watt charger. So looking forward to taking this on a trip and seeing how it holds up. Um, it seems promising. The new trend that Lenovo is adopting is terrible, and so options seem limited. And uh, if you're in the market for it, I think it's worth a shot. Uh, if you really care about mouse, um, I would strongly suggest getting the Gen 2 perhaps, because I think Gen 3 onwards, we won't have a choice, um, right? And so lightweight uh, device, which seems to hold up well, AMD, I haven't had, I haven't th thrown too many things at it. It's, it's held up pretty well, 32 gigs of RAM. So hopefully it can, um, handle all the hundreds of tabs I might ho have open at any given moment. And uh, if you have any questions or want any more information, let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.